Well, welcome back into Studio 10. According to the American Cancer Society, colon cancer is actually the third most common cancer diagnosed in both men and women. And March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, where we discuss the effects of this disease and how it's impacting a lot more lives than it is than we think. So joining us today to talk more about that is Dr. Dorian Jones of the Digestive Health Institute. So how are you? Thank you for joining us today. Excellent. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Well, I know colon cancer is a really, you know, it's a disease. Like we said, it's one of the third largest that affects people, even people in my own family. So this is something that, you know, hits home. But can you tell us how common is this cancer? It's quite common. Mm -hmm. Actually, the American Cancer Society uh, expects that in 2023, we should have about 150,000 new diagnoses of wow. colorectal cancer. Um, that'll be affecting a lot of families and a lot of people. Yeah, and I think it's something that people don't kind of necessarily think about. Um, you know, when we're talking about, you know, our regular health, it's not something that we typically get checked for. But who should be screened and how often should they be doing that? Yeah, so for the average person without any family history of colon cancer mm -hmm. and no symptoms, they should start at age 45. Okay. This is a change from previously when it used to be 50, but we're finding more and more colon cancers in younger people. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that is that now it's affecting a younger generation than it normally used to? So I think part of it is that we're doing better at screening, but mm -hmm. also we're discovering maybe cancers that we didn't know were there in the first place. Awesome. Okay, well, how preventable is this? Is this something that, you know, people can, people even younger as my age can start kind of working to making sure that, you know, this isn't something that affects us later on? Absolutely. That's very important, mm -hmm. especially if you're having symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, if we find it early and we are able to treat, then people have a great chance of having a healthy life and extended mm -hmm. survival. Absolutely. Yeah. So are there any things that people can do on a day to day basis to ensure that this is something that, you know, they're preventing like certain foods that they should eat or certain exercises and whatnot? Sure thing. Most important thing is pay attention mm -hmm. to your body. Pay attention to changes. So if you mm -hmm. see any of the big red flags, such as blood in the stool mm -hmm. or weight loss, or a sudden change in your bowel habit, whether it's more constipation or more diarrhea, mm -hmm. or suddenly thinner stools when they used to look normal, just kind of paying attention to what's going on. Paying attention, and then once they're starting to see those symptoms, um, then where should they go to start making those appointments so they can start getting themselves checked out? Yep, so most often people will go through their primary care doctor and let them okay. know about these symptoms, or they schedule an appointment directly with us in gastroenterology. Awesome. Now. A lot of people, I feel like one of the reasons that people don't necessarily want to get checked out is because they know it can be kind of uncomfortable. But what does a screening process kind of look like? Yeah, so what you should expect when you come for your colonoscopy is a whole team of people who mm -hmm. really care about helping you and making sure you're as comfortable and safe as possible. So when you show up, we help you get changed, get dressed, do lots of safety checks. Then when you head back for the procedure, mm -hmm. we do all of our cases with anesthesia, so you're totally asleep and comfortable. Okay. And you shouldn't expect any pain or discomfort. Procedure itself, somewhere 15, 30 minutes, typically. And afterwards, you wake up, feel pretty good. Most yeah. patients ask me, hey, I'm ready to get started. But mm -hmm. I say, hey, you're already done. So then I get to give them the good news that, hey, most often things look really good. Mm -hmm. There's nothing scary or worrisome. Um, and then I give them that same information in a written form, talk to the people that come with them that help them get back and forth. And then the rest of the day, they can typically eat whatever they want, have a good rest of the day, relax, catch mm -hmm. some Netflix maybe, and then back to regular activities the next day. Absolutely. So that uh, screening and that appointment that a lot of people are normally pretty nervous to have is actually something that, you know, is, is like a regular routine procedure. It's nothing for people to be worried about. Yep, that's right. It's safe. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of people in the area who can provide this service that have a lot of skill mm -hmm. and a lot of experience in doing so. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Jones, for just joining us today and for talking about that. Like we said, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and it's something that a lot of people don't like to look into until it's too late. So thank you for joining us and telling us about that. Thanks for having me.